Bubbles, can you bring me my bag? Where is my bag? Why did you not bring my bag, Bubbles? I couldn't hear you, Spiky. But I called you so many times. Oh, maybe because your sound did not travel to Bubbles. What does sound travel? Yes, sound travels. But how can sound travel? Sound is a form of energy that spreads from its source in all directions. We hear sound when vibrating particles hit our eardrum. Sound moves when the particles hit each other and pass on the vibrations. That's why sound needs a medium for its propagation. The medium may be a gas such as air, a liquid such as water, or a solid such as metal. Do you recall the last time you saw lightning? You saw the flash of lightning first and heard thunder only a few seconds later. But why did you see lightning first? Sound travels more slowly than light in air. So sound takes longer to reach us. The speed of light is almost a million times faster. Air is made up of gases. The particles in gases are farther apart than in liquids or solids. It takes longer for one gas particle to hit another gas particle and move the sound energy along. Sound can travel through other mediums than air. In fact, in water, sound travels faster and can travel further. Particles in water are closer together. That's why sound travels more quickly in water than in air. Sound waves travel even better through solid things like wood or metal. The particles in a solid are tightly packed and sound waves travel fastest in this medium. Let's find out how sound travels in solids. Tap your desk with your hand and listen to the sound it makes. Now put your ear on your desk and tap the desk again. Did you notice a change in sound? Which one was louder? The one that I heard by putting my ear on the desk. The sound is louder because the sound vibrations travel faster through solids than in air. When you heard the tap the first time, sound waves travelled through air. But when you put your ear on the desk and heard the tap, the sound waves travel through the desk which is a solid. In outer space, you can't hear anything because there is no air or any other matter. We call this a vacuum. So there is no medium that sound can use to travel. When you see a spaceship explode in space, you don't hear a thing. How fast does sound travel? In air, sound travels with a speed of approximately 350 meters per second. But sound travels faster in liquids, like water, and fastest in solids, like wood. 
Time for an exercise. We put a cell phone in a jar and hang it mid-air by a thread. We pump the jar vacuum and seal it. Make a missed call for the cell phone inside. Do you hear the ringtone of the cell phone? No, we cannot hear the ringtone of the cell phone. We removed all the air from the jar and created a vacuum. We confirmed that sound cannot travel through a vacuum. Let's summarize. Sound energy needs a medium for its propagation. Sound travels fastest in solids. Sound travels slowest in gases. Sound cannot travel in a vacuum since there are no particles to propagate sound.